Welcome to the Today's Leader Podcast. Building Tomorrow's Best Leaders, Today. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Keep it going. Good job, guys. All right, Paul, I see you. All right, John, let's finish. Oh, let's go. Hey there, it's Coach Curl here and welcome to Monday Mentoring on the Today's Leader podcast, Building Tomorrow's Best Leaders Today. Now, change is a constant. We know that in business. And one of the key aspects of change is communication. In fact, a model that I used, uh, that was used in a previous business I've worked in, had communication, communication, communication listed under each and every step of that change management process. Communication is important. And we know that most people don't like change. It's an inescapable fact of life that change occurs. People get comfortable in their routines. Change can be upsetting to that routine. And some people even take it as a serious threat to their life as they know it. Now, in most cases, we know that change will often not lead to a serious threat in life as we know it. But having empathy for this as a leader is incredibly important for you to ensure that your communication is sound. It helps smooth out some of those transitions that we see in that are needed in change, smoothing out the, uh, the transitions. And to be able to communicate effectively will not just ease the anxiety that others may feel about the change, but will ultimately help the change to be successful. The stats around successful implementation of change are frightening, to be quite honest. And a lot of the reasons for failure for change is the way it was communicated, the way it was received, the way it was um, encouraged, approached, promoted within the the team. Um, How did the team own the change? How accepting of the change were they? And a lot of that comes back to the way it's communicated. No one likes being blindsided. No one likes being lied to. And this happens far too often during change management programs. People feel blindsided. People feel that they've been lied to. So fostering change as a company definitely means that your communication needs to be regular, transparent, and relevant. Regular, transparent, and relevant. So how do you rate your change programs that you've been involved in in the past because fundamentally what you're doing is rating how effective you are as a communicator. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm Coach Curl. I shall see you all again next week. Bye for now.